All right, the time has come for us to officially meet Power BI. Now, a quick summary here. Power BI is a standalone Microsoft business intelligence product, which includes both desktop and web-based applications for loading, modeling, and visualizing data. Again, the focus for this course will be on desktop specifically. There's a ton of additional info if you'd like to learn more at powerbi.microsoft.com. Now, I want to show you something called the Gartner Magic Quadrant. And Gartner's a market intelligence research company. They produce these quadrants a few times a year. And what we're looking at here is the magic quadrant for analytics and business intelligence platforms specifically, updated February 2018. And the idea is that you have completeness of vision on the x-axis and ability to execute on the y. And when you break down the players into the four quadrants, you end up with niche players, challengers, leaders, and visionaries. And where you want to be is right here in this top right corner where the leaders live. And that's exactly where we find Microsoft with Power BI leading the charge among some very popular, very powerful other platforms like Tableau, Domo, IBM, Click, etc. So really exciting time to be learning Power BI because I think it's only going to get more powerful and more popular from here. With that, let's transition into why Power BI. So what are some of the key benefits that make this such a game-changing product? Well, first and foremost, you can connect, transform, and analyze millions, even hundreds of millions of rows of data. And you can access that data from virtually anywhere, whether it's a database, flat files on your desktop, cloud services, folders of files, etc. There's a huge, huge connector library that allows you to access a ton of information. And then not only that, but you can create fully automated and repeatable ETL procedures to shape and transform and load the data from those different sources. Next, we can actually build relational models inside of Power BI to blend the data from each of those multiple sources. And this is a concept that's getting more and more important in the analytics world. By creating relationships between all of those sources, we're able to analyze holistic performance across our entire data model. And that's a critical skill set for anyone working in data or analytics or business intelligence. It's that ability to blend information, tie sources together, and paint that comprehensive view of performance. Third, we can define complex calculations using data analysis expressions, or that DAX formula language. So we'll be doing this to enhance our data sets and enable some really interesting advanced analytics techniques using those powerful and portable expressions. And then perhaps the most important one, we can visualize our data with interactive reports and dashboards. And what we'll be doing throughout the course is actually building our own custom business intelligence tools using Power BI's best-in-class visualization and dashboard features. And then last but not least, fact is Power BI is the industry leader among BI platforms. It's intuitive, it's powerful, and most importantly, it's absolutely free to get started with Power BI Desktop. So again, really, really exciting time to be learning this tool. Now, last but not least, just want to make a quick comparison between Power BI and Power Excel, because there is quite a bit of overlap here, especially for those who have taken my Power Query, Power Pivot, and DAX course in Excel. So let's think of this like a Venn diagram where you've got Power Excel tools on the left, you've got Power BI tools on the right, and this area of overlap in the middle with features that both platforms share. So here's kind of what it looks like in summary. You've got these Excel-specific tools on the left, like pivot tables, pivot charts, power map, power view, and cube functions. And then shifting over to the right side, you've got the report dashboard views in Power BI that don't exist in Excel got those custom visualization tools that we've been talking about, as well as the publishing and collaboration options available through Power BI service. But where I want to really focus is this area of intersection. Like I've said before, these two tools are actually built on the exact same engine. Power BI takes the same data shaping, modeling, and analytics capabilities, and then adds these incredible new reporting and visualization and publishing tools on top of them. So even though they're called different things in different places, you know, the data loading tools will be called either Power Query or Get and Transform in Excel. 
the data modeling tools will be called Power Pivot in Excel versus the Relationships View in Power BI. The fact is, it's all the same thing. And the best news of all is that transitioning is incredibly easy. These two platforms play really, really nicely together. So if you've been investing a ton of time building models in the Excel environment, no worries at all. You can import them right into Power BI in a matter of minutes. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like in the beginning of the next section. So there you have it. That's our intro to Power BI.